Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight. And this was just going to be a simple video about talking about some of the vehicles I was going to get rid of up here in... Up here in Palito Bay, up in the apartment. Which I'm half tempted to get rid of so I could get a 10 car garage instead of this 6 car garage. But you know, this, I have so much history with this place. And the 6 car garage and how it has two doors on the inside, one door on the outside, you know, that whole nine yards. And it is nice to have, you know, some kind of base of operations on the north side of the map, just in case something comes up. And that was all this was going to be, though. I was going to get rid of the picket door, even though I kind of liked it a little bit here, but I mean, there's really... Shot Buster. There's really nothing for me on this one. It's not, it's not fast enough to raise. It's, it feels okay. You could take it for a drive and think about it. I mean, it looks nice. It's a nice Chevelle kind of looking sort of El Camino kind of thing. But I mean, you know, I do need some space. And it's not very customizable. You know, and yeah, it's an interesting thing. I was thinking about this. The Duke of Death. I used to have a Duke of Death in every garage simply because, well, you know, if you were getting griefed, you could get away with a Duke of Death because they couldn't shoot you out that much. How you doing? Great. And the, um... The thing of the matter is, is if you're getting grief now, it's not by a guy in a, you know, Zentorno with a machine gun. It's, you know, a guy on a, on a Presser Mark II, and you're going to just die instantly anyway. So, it's really, you know, been made obsolete by events. Now, I, I'm going to keep several of these anyway, because I like the paint jobs on them. This one is a stock original, I think. That's exactly how they come from the factory. It's probably not even worth anything so we'll, we'll probably you know we'll, we're gonna get rid of this probably just for the space we'll get rid of this for the space and we'll cry a little bit because it is it is kind of pretty but i do have other vehicles that would fit in up here that would work out better now the rustier ones like now this orange this orange dune buggy this is the one i got my 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 naked rail dune buggy that's in the, the other collection. So I'm going to keep that. It was, it was a momentous vehicle. It's done It's done stuff for me. I do enjoy driving those buggies. Oh, the Rusty Rebel. I could do without the Rusty Rebel. It feels like the kind of car that I want to just... I want to like. I want to drive. I could get rid of it. I mean, am I really going to use it? Maybe we'll fool around with this a little bit today and see... The Doom Buggy. You gotta have at least one Beetle in your collection. This is my Beetle. It's the only Beetle we can have. So we gotta keep that. I mean, I do, this is just... So we, we can free up a couple spaces up here. We got one free. But as I was pondering this, you know, and as I was doing some other things, I was going through my videos, you know, trying to plan for the next, you know, next several months. You know, how many GTA videos do I have? And I have a lot of them. Because I mean, this is a game that I end up playing predominantly because of the economics of the game. You have to stay on top of the sales. Oh, get this thing, get that thing. Spin the wheel. I, I tell you what, the next time I go to Vegas, I am going to start trying to win some cars. Because I have been winning cars on that like crazy. It's just, it's, you know, I must have five or six of them. We'll take a look at it at some point. And um, it, it's just just craziness but you know if you're winning cars you need spaces so you have to sell stuff and do things and, and move things around and it's really again i've talked about it before the way that you know rockstar is um is putting in the bonuses and all the things in gta in the sales and the twitch prime sales in particular they're making you play the game. You, they're, you know, they're, and they're putting d you know double money on this or double money on that, and that's what's driving what people are playing. So they really, I mean, they've, for a game in which there's so much freedom to do whatever you want, everybody ends up doing what they're told for a lot of this. I think, at least I do, and you know, I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable with that. It's a funny thing. I'd, I'd really kind of want um, a little bit more. Uh, more freedom, but we're gonna sell this anyway. Watch, I mean, no, no freedom here. We're, we're gonna get because I need some more money. I'm supposed to get my my 1.6 million for buying Lago Zancudo. I haven't gotten that yet, and that's like six or seven days ago. I did that last weekend, so it's, let's drive it a little bit before we get rid of it. Let's see if we can talk ourselves out of it.
I mean, it's just a nice... Not a lot of power to it. I mean, that's not... Let's see what kind of top end we got going here. Does it feel like, wow, I really have to have this car? Not really. I mean, the Patriots that I keep are more like collectible items, but I mean, they're, they're obviously slower. I don't, I don't, it's not that it has to be a fast car, but this, compared to a lot of stuff, it's a little bit like driving through molasses, you know? It's a little bit molasses-y. I think we'll sell it. We need the room. Oh, there goes my frame rate again. I'm in a, I'm in a closed crew. How the heck can something be screwed up my frame rate? But, you know, the, so I'm, I'm trying to look at, like, I really do, I really do want to focus on other games for a little bit. And I've got, literally, if I wanted to do one a week for the next several months, we're set. We've, I've, I've done so many videos that I haven't uploaded yet. Let's see, is that anything we're selling? Is it heavily customized? No, no. It's a free grab, but we got a mission. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? It's only 100 to sell, it. that's nice. But yeah, we need to. 68 grand. Hey, we got music on. I better keep talking so nobody figures out that there's music on. And then we'll go to blah, 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 vehicle sold. Get me out of here before they hear the music on the YouTube and the... Okay, let's fix that. Settings. Okay, hopefully none of that gets monetized. Um, what can we pull out of another garage? To come up here and free up some space downtown. You a patriot. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Uh, let's see. It's Eclipse 3. That's where the Patriots are. I'm gonna guess this is the brown one. We could bring the Camacho up here. Yeah, that's everything. I haven't even modified the Camacho. And that'll be, it'll be nearer the, uh, It'll be closer to the what you call it? The you know, the, the the spray and the, the pay and spray here. So then we could quickly modify that at some point. Not that I have. Not that I've even showed any interest in the Camacho. I should probably just sell the Camacho. I mean, I have a Camacho. They're just so customizable. Nah, let's let's pull a page. coming here. at you. I don't need all of my Patriots in one place. Which one will we be? Will it be the, the stripped down one with the silver the crew over chrome customized look? Will it be the, the 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 classic, you know, camo brown, you know, fully decked out? I have one Patriot that's decked out as you can deck them out now. A new, a modern Patriot. I have my original Patriot that's... Got a custom paint job and the stuff that if you go into the, the mod shop, it gets stripped out now because of changes to the game. It is... Oh, dear! It's the... it's the they, they gave me the one that you can't really use. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't have insurance. If I bring it in to get insurance, I lose the brush guard. No, 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 we don't want this one. No, 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 no. Motorcycle club. Starter motorcycle club. You need to go back. You need to go back. Hold on. I am not. Come on. Give it. Give me the menu. There we go. Turn that vehicle to storage. All right. Um. Let's bring the Camacho up so I don't get the wrong one. It's. We're just gonna. That'll take a couple minutes. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. 31 seconds. We can just talk for 31 seconds. But it really fascinates me how they really have... They really... You know, Rockstar really directs my gaming days. Like, well, I have to make sure I go in and spin the wheel. Otherwise, you're missing out. It's a freebie. How can you miss out on a freebie? And, you know, it's a free car. And they give you enough free cars that make you come back. And then it's like, today it's double money on special crates, which... 
should I really, you know, well, gee, you can make a lot of money with special crates, and I've spent all my money on sales, should I, but I just, I just don't want to, I, it's just not what I want to do today, and yet you want to, you want to do it, yet you don't want to do it, they introduced, you know, a new, what are you after? Um, can we, are we, are we here? By. There we go. Like, I think I'm at the point of maturity where I can ignore the double money if I really don't want to do it. I mean, I think that's a thing. But, I mean, you know, it's 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 just a matter of... I have... I mean, look at stuff. I've been playing this game a ridiculous amount. More than I really would want to, even for the, the purposes of this channel. I mean, you know, there's other stuff that I have to do. So, I mean, I've got a lot... I have, I've got tons of video... That will be going up. It may not be going up in the order that it happened. So if there's some logical breaks in these things, that that's uh, that's simply because I wasn't sure what was going on when I was uploading. And that that's all. It's nothing nothing crazy. And um, I think it's something I have to be cognizant of. I have to be cognizant of the fact that I, I'm letting myself get controlled a little bit. I mean, I'm letting myself be guided by the forces of Rockstar and their mind manipulation policies. They're really, it's a, it's a funny thing. You know, I want to do more GTA than I, if I want to play GTA, I want to be doing what I want to be doing. Like, probably racing is a thing. You know, I don't mind doing the, the bunker work and the nightclub work. That's, that stuff's kind of fun. And, you know, I'm doing that on my terms. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break away a little bit from the, the patterns of Rockstar. That's, that's going to be a thing. But I'm still going to clear out some space. Still got to clear out some space on, you know, get rid of this puppy at some point. I'm keeping these. I think so. Let's, I mean, let's, let's get the rebel. The rebel's on the bubble. If I could free up three spots up here. Yeah, that doesn't that actually feels a little bit perkier than the uh than the Picador. I mean I don't know why. Maybe it is a little perkier than the Picador. Or maybe it's just my expectations for the Rebel are so much lower than they are for the Picador. Here, you know, let's hop on the rails. I'm gonna try something here. Ah, train! I mean, clearly, clearly, you know, I, I don't want to use the word addicted. But, I mean, I, you know, Rockstar has got this game to where it is kind of just a solid part of my normal routine. It's... Woo, this is just does not want to ride the rails. And I do get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I mean, it is, it is enjoyable. I do like doing a lot of things in this game. It's an interesting thing, though, like how I've got to kind of plan around. Plan my gaming day around, you know, well, gee, did I do my GTA stuff online? You know, I, I've got a bunch of stuff I want to do. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Shut up. Okay, we're going to do it. Can we do the G Fred Hot Lab room? A good thing to practice anyway, but uh, 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 well, maybe not. Oh, come on, Rebel. This is like one of those things where you're supposed to be my roughed out, someone's made this a gnarly off roader kind of car. Ruffy makes this look so easy every week. Okay, needs a little more. You, you get that that four cylinder, or six cylinder kind of feel out of that right there. Not a lot of, not buckets of torque. But come on, it's turbo. Let's let's go. 
This will be good to know if you're ever in a G, Fred. Whether you can, if you grab a rusty rebel. Now this one's fully modded. Don't you poop out on me. Come on here, Rusty Rebel. I know it's steep. But you're the Rusty Rebel. You should be able to do the... Oh, no. There's a lot on the line here. Whether I keep this card is going to depend on whether or not it gets up. Uh, come on. Come on. Alright, I made it to the trail. I would have liked it to be a low dear 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 no 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 back 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 It can't back up, we have to try and use the momentum to swing it back up though. Don't overshoot. No, I mean that was that was a lack of skill on my part. But you know, see, doing stuff like this, driving a rusty rebel up the hill, this is not this is not a mind-controlled thing. This is, I'm just trying to actually have some fun in the game and see if one of my cars can do something. This is better. This is using the freedom of the game. Using this sandbox for what it's really meant to be doing here. Practicing for a G Fred I'll probably never get to race in. Okay, this is the wrong. That's the other way. Up. We have to go a little bit further back this way. We're already there. It's around here. And don't get me wrong. I would probably get absolutely annihilated yeah, if I was in a real G thread. This thing, yeah, doesn't have good reverse. But the goal would be, and it's, so they always make it look so easy, is to swing right up here. Boom! All right, we would have gotten the checkpoint there. If you don't know what Gfred is, I don't know. Have you heard me talk about this at all? I mean, it's a thing. I made one, Viserys Fred, where you can use a Viserys to do it, but that's it's never gotten played by the the, the main Gfreders. It's a point of sadness for me, but okay, we're going. Woo, woo! Let's see. Can't do the descent. It made it up, so that was the thing. We're going to keep the car now. It's not going down the right way. There's no question. We've, we've definitely had a Chiliad disaster here. Going down. It got it's sliding down the... We'll get there. It's very hard on the vehicle. I've, I've got armor on this. I'm almost positive. So we should be okay. It's Still not recommending a Rusty Rebel for your G Fred selection, so if it was all you got. I don't know, without the without that little X without the turbo put in, would it have made it up the hill? I'm thinking maybe not. This is really taking a beating. This is not not the fast way down. No. Well, you know, while we're, while we're falling here, let's let's um let's disband that before we start getting charged. I've done a lot of motorcycle club stuff because last week was oh, double money on the motorcycle stuff. And my goodness, that some of those are painful. You tell JT uh, some bad news. The docking shop's completely out of supplies. Production's ground to a halt. Bought them up and running again. Get them what they need. See, that was funny because I did not plan that. Not even a little bit, but you can see it's it's just annoying. We just we almost got clipped by the train. Um, but yeah, it's just annoying. I wish we could turn that off. I wish there was a way of blocking phone calls. But then they couldn't, if that takes away some of their power to guide what you're doing in game. And I don't know, it's an interesting thing. Are they trying to guide what you're doing in game? It's, is that even a thing? 
Or is it just a matter of they're giving you opportunities to make money and that ends up guiding people? Like, I, don't, I don't know. Is it all an experiment? Because, I mean, you know, someone should be paying attention to the patterns, you know, that are, are being... I mean, millions of people are having what they're doing on a daily basis controlled by who's setting the sales at Rockstar. And I think that's a fascinating thing. And I'm aware of it, and it still works. I'm 100% aware of the fact that, you know, I, every week I say, I check and see... Oh, this is in a road. I check and see... Um, what the latest story is from uh, from Rockstar, and then I say, hey, well, when can I get some time this week to do that? And I have a lot of things going on other than video games, so I'm going to have to. I really want to get back to doing some more writing. I have completely neglected this run, because I have been trying to do a, get a bunch of videos together for a good run for subscribers here. I want to see if I can get back into the good graces of the YouTube algorithm. And that's been a thing. So if I can get two videos a week, three videos a week going, some various things, will that get me a little bit more traffic? I don't know. You know, I figure I'm going to try that over the winter months and then we'll see. It's, it's going to end up where I'm going to end up having to make this more of a more relaxed hobby at some point. Because, I mean, if I don't, if I don't, if this doesn't take off, then I really have to look at it and say, look, I'll keep making videos because I enjoy making videos. It's it's what I do. I enjoy this stuff. I enjoy talking with you. But, like, I, I can't, I can't make it like it's something that's a responsibility, which is partly what's happening in my head a little bit. Like, I feel like I do have to... I have to crank out some stuff. I just finished my Fallout series for this year, and that's all uploaded. I mean, I've got stuff that's gonna it's gonna kick off on the 23rd of October, which is of course the day that all the bombs dropped in the Fallout universe, and then uh, every Friday thereafter. So it kicks off on a Wednesday, and every Friday I think it's a Wednesday, and every Friday thereafter until until April 10th, I have a Fallout video up. And those last several videos, that was becoming work. I was trying to think. What videos can I make? What what ideas do I have? I want to exhaust all the ideas that I have. And because you know there is a, a a certain need to create, but I mean uh, that's just just something that uh, that I did. And after a while, I was like, I'm so glad I don't have to play this game anymore. So I'm yeah, I'm trying to try and get a little bit away from that mindset. I'm a little bit away from the have to make videos and just make the videos that come to mind. So if you see later on, obviously this will be in the spring. If I end up taking a bit of a sabbatical in the spring, I may not. I may. I don't know. That's months from now. Um, and I have other things going on. Don't be overly concerned. It's not like I'm going to ever give up on making these videos because I do I do like making them. They're, they're fun. I, I'm always going to be playing video games. I'm not, I have no plans of ever giving up on video games. Um, so, I mean, it's just a simple matter of do I invest the time to make sure that I've got at least one or two a week going up? I, that I may not do. We're going to have to see. If Hey, listen, if I suddenly turn into PewDiePie, well then great. You know, that'll be, you know. But actually, I'd be really happy if I just suddenly turned into Bruffy. That'd be, you know, that'd be really fun, you know, wonderful with that many subscribers. Then, yeah, absolutely. But I, I still, I don't think I could keep up with his output. I mean, that guy, he cranks out hours and hours of videos. And I just can't. I can't dedicate that kind of time to it, you know. I got a day job. I mean, it's just a, it's a simple thing, and not likely to give that up unless you know, unless we're talking. It's just too hard to make you know that kind of money in YouTube. And I don't really plan. I don't really have a schedule that lets me stream. I, I just can't. I there's no. I can't say every Friday I'm going to do this from X amount of time to X amount of time. Mike, I don't have that kind of control over my life at this point in my life. So, that's where we have it here, folks. We're going to probably get rid of this one. Free up another spot. We're going to keep the... The Rusty Rebel made it to the top of Chiliad. We're going to keep it. Uh, he's going to kind of like the styling on this anyway. That's where we're going to keep the Rusty Rebel. We're going to keep the bug. We're going to keep the buggy. And we're going to continue, you know... I think that's pretty much all the ones I planned on freeing up. I'm kind of inclined to keep the... Uh, the Rolls Royce variant there, the Windsor that I have, although I might I might lose that one. We'll have to see. 
There's one or two cars that may go away. We'll, we'll record that as things go on. But on this note, for this video, what's my main message here? I mean, I, I can kind of talk about, you know, where my head is at in this game. But yeah, the, the main thing is I feel like I want to make sure I'm not getting, my, my, my actions aren't controlled by the posts that are put up by a video game company. And I feel like, look, especially looking at all the videos I've done here and all the time I've spent in GTA, I feel like some of that's been true. It's, if I'm playing GTA, I want to be playing GTA because I'm completely screwing around with it and having some fun. I don't want to... I don't want to have to worry about do I have enough money to get a Krieger if it goes on sale. Although I do want a Krieger. I, I got a ride in a Krieger the other day from my, uh, I think it was uh, Ramen Prince. That is, that is a quick car. That that seems like I want to try that. That's But that's what I want to do. Like it's not because, well, this is such a good deal. How can you not get that? I mean, it's... That's something that you have to control in real life. Otherwise, you know, the next time you're in Target, you end up with $500 in the card. You can't do that. I mean, that's just... Now, I haven't been spending shark card money on this stuff. It's just been taking up my time, which I don't know which is worse. Which is worse? It's really kind of hard to say. You know, making runs up Chile, yeah, that's one thing. How many trains are there? So many trains. And, you know, if you looked in the corner, you probably saw some messages from Warthog CC. If, if I might hop in and see if I can help out Warthog a little bit. But then I'm, I'm doing what I want. I want to help a friend out, you know? That's a thing. That's, you know. But, truth be told, I got one more video I want to finish up that will probably have gone up before you see this one. And then, what I want to do... Is play some TF2. I want to get some TF2 videos done. I mean, that's just a that's a priority for me. I really I do miss smacking people with a wrench. It's a thing. I do miss that. I do, and I do want to do some more racing. I haven't done I've done hardly any racing. I don't want to lose the skill. I mean, the the, the racing's kind of been my main thing. One of the things I'm going to try and get away from is, you know, idling this overnight so that I can just make sure that I have a million in the morning to sell. That's a thing. But now I think about it, I've been talking here long enough that my bunker's probably full. Okay, here's here's a mini topic. Buggy versus Rebel. Which one gets up the hill better? And that'll be, my advice to you is you know, definitely make sure that if you're gaming, you're not gaming if you you don't feel obligated because oh I have to get this done because you know I'm gonna miss out I'm gonna do I'm, I'm going to uh, look at this the buggy really just blows the doors off the uh, the rusty rebel going up this hill that was impressive and it's it's a two wheel drive versus a four wheel drive so you have to do what's fun. You know, make sure you're having fun. Make sure you're doing what you want to be doing. You're not doing it because Ronster says, "Hey, you know, if you if you spend 500k today, you can get something that's worth 700 million dollars." Because we arbitrarily said it was worth 700 million dollars that you weren't going to get anyway. I mean, I I ended up because the uh, the upgrades were 40 percent off. I put upgrades on at least three of the businesses until I ran out of money. I was broke. While making money, I still ran myself out of where did I go? I went the wrong way. None of them back up well. Okay, let's No, 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 not Chile had disaster. No, 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 we could have made it up. Chiliad, no! And Chiliad takes another soul. I didn't I never went backwards there. I was always trying to go forwards. Uh, we're going to the ocean. We're going to the ocean! No! No, no, no. Alright, at least it's a road. On <laughs> this tumbling note, don't let your video game playing tumble out of control. Just because you look on the Rockstar Newswire and oh look, 
there's a uh, there's a sale this week. I'd better grind like anything, like there's no tomorrow. Says the guy who did that. I was up 30 million at one point, now I'm down to a million. I was down to 200k. That's a lot of game playing. That's a lot of buying. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, the other end of the track. We where the heck am I? Well, we're almost back to the apartment. Yeah, might as well get back. It's a tricky thing. I mean, all the, a lot of the games do this. Some of them more more so than this game. I mean, you know. I don't need to go into the whole loot crate thing. That's, which is just a thing. I mean, that's... <sighs> Let's get the buggy home. I like this guy. Excuse me, Mr. Patriot. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the map. See, you never look away. You ever be looking at the map while you're cruising down the road? You're just driving to the back of stuff. And you know, it'll hurt a lot more in real life. It's... Okay, here's Ren. This has been Random Wisdom with the Black Knight at 5.30. And what the heck time is it? It's 6 yet? Yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.